I want to start today's video discussing what Florida might lose to Seattle by talking about what Edmonton might lose to Seattle from yesterday's video. So there's a lot of feedback along the lines of, hey, hey, you know, they, they lengthen Chris Russell's contract. Chris Russell's the one going to Seattle. <clears throat> Chris Russell at the time of the expansion draft will be 34 years of age. And yes, he has a contract through 2021, 2022. But I don't see Seattle necessarily taking Russell because the team doesn't tell Seattle who to take. Seattle has that decision. And I don't even think Russell's the best option on the blue line for them to take. I might take Larson ahead of Russell if I had the option. And so, yeah, we'll see what happens. So there's my explanation for that. Let's talk about Florida, which doesn't get talked about enough in the hockey world. I agree. Other than move them, move them somewhere else. Um, and of course, I'm, I'm wearing a blue throwback jersey, or as we called it when it came out, just a jersey. Um, so... Huberto has a no-movement clause. I think he would have got protected anyways. There's three no-movement clauses in Florida. I'm not sure they're needed. Now, I, I protected seven forwards, three defensemen. I could see four forwards and four defensemen. Uh, it depends on how they play this year. It really does. Is Does Achari have another 20-goal season in him? I don't think so, but if he does, he gets protected. And if he does, you go seven forwards, three defensemen. Because you have to protect Huberto. You have to protect uh, Barkov as well. Those are automatics. And then Borgstrom, I think you have to protect as well. He's still young enough. He's still able to come around. And he's listed on cap friendly as a guy they need to protect. And then Achari, Wenberg, Vetrano, and Connolly. I went with Connolly as the other forward that they'd protect. This is where people say, well, these guys are unrestricted free agents in 2021. You don't have to protect them. Okay, so basically almost everybody's an unrestricted free agent in 2021. I've discussed this before. I don't care if they're restricted, unrestricted free agent in 2021. I'm not using that as a criteria when I'm protecting them. I'm just assuming that a lot of these guys are going to have extensions over the next 6, 8, 10, 12, 86 months until we have the expansion draft, I, whenever it happens. On the blue line, Yandel, no movement clause has to be protected, would have been anyways. Ekblad and Weger, who I think we can agree is the best defensive defenseman for them, which leaves some interesting options for Seattle on the blue line. And Bobrovsky and Net. Now, there's a reason why I didn't protect the guys that I didn't. And Bobrovsky, with his no movement clause, has to be protected. And at $10 million a year, they didn't have to protect him. Florida, who does lose money, I could see a situation where Florida offers up some pretty rich contracts with the idea that, hey, maybe Seattle will take one of these contracts. Starting with Hornquist. I know they just got him out of Pittsburgh, but at that price and at his age, I don't think you have to protect him. I don't think you have a ton of concern that Seattle's going to take Hornquist. We really don't. Hinnestros is the one that I think Florida probably loses to Seattle. I think. Um... And yet Verhage's going to be there too. Verhage could be the guy. Now Verhage could get protected. So people are going to lose their minds. Verhage could get protected. And I could see one of these other guys over here being unprotected. But I'm not sure which one. Because we don't know if Wenberg's going to have a huge bounce back season for Florida. He could. And if he does, then he should be protected. Vitrano's been pretty solid. I could see Vitrano maybe being unprotected. I think I did a, a mock draft at one point where I had Vitrano as the player leaving Florida and going to Seattle. Uh, but on the blue line is where things get really interesting because Strawman, I think, again, with his contract, you know, which is, is substantial, I could see Florida wanting Seattle to take the Strawman contract. Uh, Nudavara. Nudavara, not overly expensive, but I could see Nudavara being an interesting option for Seattle. He's a blue liner. He's not that old and could be a solid top six option for Seattle. And then Radko Gudis. If they're, gonna look, if they're not worried about a guy who's a little bit older... And this one, he's a UFA, why would, again, don't worry about that right now. A lot of guys are, this is like every summer we have the whole hype for the next season's uh, UFAs. Notice I haven't done that video. I'm like, hey, look at next year's free agent class. This is going to be epic because it's not. A lot of those guys are going to resign. Um, and then in, in net, I wouldn't rule out either Drieger or Montembeau. I like Montembeau. I think he's all right. Um, and, and Drieger... Drieger's not too bad himself. Now, I understand that Bontembo had a bit of a setback and Drieger outplayed him last year, but I could see a situation where Seattle, who can take four goaltenders, 
could see one of those two guys and say, that's our best option. It's a cheap option. It's a young goaltender. And again, depending on how the rest of their team rounds out, they might look at Montembeau and say, yeah, we can we can work with this. Um, or Drieger. And Florida can only protect one goaltender, and that's Bobrovsky. So we'll see. We'll see if there's any kind of deals made between Ron Francis and the Panthers in order to decide who is and isn't protected and uh, who they might take. So we'll see what happens. But uh, from Florida, I, I think it could very well be one of those situations where it's a bigger contract in order to save Florida some money. But again, we'll get to see. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And hey, thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.